Remember what it's like to be a kid? You can grow up, dream anything, because you got the time to grow up. And people taking care of you. But sometimes life gets in the way. Sometimes people let you down. You can't find a job or someone you love gets sick or needs help. That's when people need to help each other, like United Way does. Helping people get what they need to succeed. That's what Living United is all about. The more smart you are, the more things you know. I love school and I love homework a lot too. We think it was fun. When we started the Upper Room, we had a focus group study with the single moms that live in this neighborhood. And they were all very upset about their children not reading. We felt that tutors were the answer because they provide the one-on-one -on -one support that these children need. And it's proven true. I was about six years old when I started attending. We would have reading in the morning, recreation in the afternoon. But the main focus was like advancing our reading skills. They give these rewards at the end of the summer, and they're like reading improvement awards and the most books read, and I wanted to be that kid going across the stage getting an award. And that really motivated me to read as much as I could. When a child like uh, Jalen starts as a first grader and goes all the way through our program to scholarship at Rockhurst, it's very, very exciting. Jalen will tell you that one of his first memories is the high school students helped him read and now he helps young children read. And if we can get more of those victories, I think we've got this problem solved. As far as college, I plan on majoring in education. I've been through the entire program and I've seen what impact that can have on kids as young as, as I was. Somebody took the time to do the same thing for me. My name is Jalen. I don't just wear the shirt, I live it. I feel good that I have a nice family. My mom, dad, sister, brother, a lizard. We're painting my room and we're putting art stuff in it. My childhood definitely had its ups and downs. My early teenage years, it really wasn't a safe environment for me. I initially left my house when I was about 16 and I stayed with friends, neighbors, the streets. Sometimes it was floors, sometimes it was cars. It was very difficult to go to school. In fact, I dropped out. When you don't have somewhere to live, you don't know what's going to happen the next day. For a regular adult, that's really difficult. For a teenager, that's depending on everybody else, it was terrifying. So I just opened the phone book and most people told me that, you know, you don't have money, you don't have insurance, you're a minor, we got nothing for you. I got to the S's in the phone book. That's where I found Synergy. I called and luckily reached an awesome therapist. Synergy really gave me some sense of reassurance, self-confidence, and the ability to know that, you know, another day is going to come and I can pull myself out of this. The youth tell me all the time that they appreciate hearing from somebody that's been where they've been. I'm living the life that I hoped I would live. I think about what can I do today to change somebody's life like mine was changed. And working in the healthcare is a perfect opportunity. Every day I get to see families that are worried or troubled. To be able to say I've been there or I know what you're going through, I can certainly help you, it makes me feel really good. My name is Natalie. I don't just wear the shirt, I live it. There's like this big path at my school that I like run on a lot. I like to play with my friends and do tag stuff like that. About two or three years old is when we finally heard the word cerebral palsy come out of the doctor's mouth. Those are the scariest words ever. Yeah. You know, every parent wants to fix it and there isn't a way to fix it. So we had to figure out how to adjust. Our caseworker said that we needed to take a look at Children's Therapeutic Learning Center. Colin's really an incredible kid. I started working with him when he was two years old. We're really trying to work on strengthening to make him stronger, to do walking, uh, to keep up with his friends, just to be a typical kid. Everything is therapeutic to a certain degree, but it, they try to make it fun for him because otherwise he will lose interest just like anyone else. Colin's motivation is so encouraging. He just doesn't understand, I can't do it. I think he can do whatever he wants. I see a big future for Colin. He is such a bright kid. If he can just figure out and we can get those muscles stronger, I really see lots of doors opening for him. I contribute to United Way and so does Doug through our jobs and our child is one of the children that they're helping. You know, I think we want the same thing for our child that anybody wants for their children. Yeah. Success, happiness, long life. My name is Annie. My name is Doug. We don't just wear the shirt. We live it. I want to be a college teacher when I grow up. Policeman, a cowgirl. A mommy. 
a baseball player. I would like to invent a money maker. Nobody knows what's going to happen to them, or to any of us. But the road to success begins with a dream. And it's a smoother trip if you've got a solid foundation and a community of people who care. Get involved. There are people who need you. Please join us. Give generously and live united in Greater Kansas City.